Hello and welcome back to Tulip. This is a bonus video. This is the final bonus video for the people of Long Life Town and for Tulip in general. We're going to be following Linda and seeing what she does all day. Her, ske her schedule is fairly limited, but she does have a few things that are worth noting. Can you move over? I'm going out. Interesting that she just says that and asks us to get out of the way and doesn't say something like, Oh my god, why are you in my house watching me sleep? Good morning. What a nice day. And she comes and takes her normal spot on the drain pipe. And at this point you can talk to her and show her items just like normal. Hi Chuck. How are you? Pretty good. Good. Pretty good. I hope your reputation will get better. By the way, what is your happiness? Linda's happy place is top three. Spot number three, drain pipe. Spot number two, vacant lot at night. Spot number one, lover's tree. There is a vista called lover's tree across the bridge. That is my favorite place. I've talked about and I've shown some of the lover's tree scenes with, um, with her in the Let's Play, I've decided I'm not going to, to uh, show all of them because there is a channel on YouTube that already has. Tulip Archive has a list of all of those scenes. I'll be linking it in the description to this video so you can check that out. Now, the girl, or Linda in our case, is just going to sit here all day, so I'll be back once she's actually done something. See you in just a minute. We're back, and Linda is just about to change up her schedule for the day. At right about 4 o'clock, she decides she's had enough of hanging out on the pipe, and she's going to take a little walk. When the sun set, when the sun sets, even birds go home too. Her little cat comes out here as well. You can talk to the kitty cat. I wish I were as free as cats. It doesn't matter where she's standing, you can always show her items and get her normal dialogue for it. So, for example, show her the expensive ring. Wow, that looks expensive. You can sell it to make money. She says that regardless of where she is, so you can always show her things to get hints. She's gonna stand here for a little while. We're gonna stand here with her. It's not long enough to warrant making another cut. She stands here for about an hour, hour and a half or so. Maybe two hours. Her dialogue doesn't change. And about six... Kitty decides Kitty has had enough and wants to go home. I think I will definitely find it today. Based on dialogue that she's had before, I assume she's probably talking about a shooting star. And out she comes with her telescope. We've already completed the aliens quest on this file, so I wonder what happens when we talk to her. I'm looking for a shooting star. Do you want to look through my telescope? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll let you use my telescope. Where is a shooting star? Look! Crane! That crane came back. What? It lives in the chimney of Turtle Bath. Really? I see. I didn't know. It must feel good to live, some, uh, live in somewhere high. I bet the chimney is the happy place for that crane. By the way, where is your happy place? What is your happiness? My happiness is... secret. There are a couple more things she can say if you talk to her. You'd better not walk around at night. It's dangerous. I think there's one other thing she can say. Not interested? How can you say that? I hate you, Chuck. I don't want to talk to you anymore today. Well, I actually didn't know about that. There's another thing she can say. She can also say, um, aren't stars pretty or something like that. 
well, I'll see you back in just a minute, because her schedule changes after a couple hours, and I think I need to refresh the day to get the rest of her dialogue. So we'll see you in just a second. We're back. Let's watch the last part of Linda's day. She's still looking into her telescope here. And in just a minute, she's going to put it away. She's not going straight to bed. She's got one more thing she has to do first. Hmm, it's difficult, but I need patience, discipline, and effort. I had no luck tonight, but I'll definitely find it tomorrow. I wonder if she's talking about that shooting star or happiness. It is time for her to go into her little pipe to go to sleep, but she actually taunts the policeman first. Let's go follow her inside. She doesn't seem to mind us being in here. Can't sleep either? I've decided to live here. Why don't you go home? Hmm. My dad and mom are always fighting. I will never go home. I hate my dad. I hate my mom. Oops, wrong button. Can't sleep either? You'll catch a cold. That's good. To tell you the truth, my dad and mom are always fighting. I will never go home. I hate my dad. I hate my mom. That's it. She will just sit here for like the next few hours, so I'm gonna say goodbye one more time, and I'll see you in just a second. We're back. We've been sitting here with Linda for a while. Call it a date if you want. She's about ready to go to sleep. She sleeps, or she goes to sleep very late at night. And again, she really doesn't seem to mind us being in here. So she's about to get up. It's getting late. I'm going to bed. Good night. And that's it. Goes to sleep right in front of us. No, get out of my house. It's time for me to go to sleep. No, nothing. And that is the entirety of the girl's schedule. And, you know, I can't change once you kiss her because once you kiss her, you win the game. So that was the final bonus schedule video. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in another bonus video when we do something else.